Hello guys, I hope y'all are doing well. Today I wanted to make a hopefully quick video related to if you're thinking about buying a laptop or a second computer, anything regarding like laptop purchases more specifically, I wanted to bring up some ideas and some thoughts on why you should consider uh, getting a used ThinkPad. This video isn't about claiming that everything I say is 100% factual or correct. It's more about encouraging thoughtful financial decisions and discussing other topics related to the reasons I will be sharing in the video. I did a lot of research on ThinkPads before buying mine, uh, which is this one. Let me check and see if I open it and then <laughs> turn it on. And it should turn on correctly. It even has sort of the backlight. Unfortunately, due to how dark I have the camera, you cannot see uh, more details. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is my T480. And I also did a lot of research for this video. So not only did I did research uh, before buying mine, but also uh, for the making of this video and to be as accurate as possible. The first reason I believe you should consider getting a used ThinkPad over a new laptop is first, of course, the money. ThinkPads are known to be super affordable, which makes them a solid option if you're after great value. Even though they are cheaper, they often have a pretty decent and sometimes great specifications that can beat out other laptops in the same price range. And to give you more context on why this is, it's not because they are cheaper because they are like bad, but in reality, this affordability comes from businesses buying them in bulk for work and then selling them off after a few years. These used laptops flood the market, so there's always a steady supply at lower prices. Plus, since they are built more for productivity and don't usually have those medium-end to high-end GPUs, they are not as popular with gamers. When I bought my ThinkPad, which I uh, put here to the right, yeah, <laughs> I went uh, with a local outlet that included a one-year warranty. It's a great way to go if you're not into dealing with repairs or potential issues that can come up with used laptops. Sure, it costs a bit more, but it's worth it for the peace of mind and knowing you're getting something that is uh, reliable, at least for the first year or how many years they give you as warranty. That being said, if you're cool with tinkering or fixing things yourself, buying straight from an individual seller or somebody that just sells to you uh, the laptop directly, doesn't give you any warranty or anything like that, can save you quite a lot of cash. So yeah. ThinkPads are business laptops. And it's no secret that a ton of companies still use them, NASA, and IBM are two big examples. The main reason is the quality. When you hold a ThinkPad, it just feels solid. A well-built machine. From the keyboard to the overall design, everything uh, feels uh, great, honestly. It's probably one of the best keyboards I've ever used. Of course, it depends on the model you get. For example, uh, I have the T480, and what I really love about it is the USB-C port the 1080p screen and the second battery and a bunch of other little features so before you buy a laptop take a minute to make a quick list of what you actually need or want and it will help you pick out something that fits you perfectly like for example me i'm trying to change my whole setup to usb-c based charging so i can literally use the laptop's usb-c charging port to charge all of these little devices and yeah that's one of the things I look out for when I'm buying new electronics. So please make your list and the things you want and look for a ThinkPad or basically any laptop that you want or any electronic product with a list that you care about. Uh, because for example, the T480 has touchscreen, I believe, but I mean, I don't really care. And I don't think many people do, but maybe some do, maybe you do. So please make a list of the things you want. That way you can make sort of the best purchase possible. The reason number three is the fact that it is, for me, the 
perfect second computer. This one is for you if you already have a main computer, like for example, this one, which is my desktop. And for me, the ThinkPad is an amazing second computer, uh, maybe even the best. Of course, MacBooks with the Apple chips are better overall, but the price difference is massive, of course. Aside from those pricey MacBooks, having a ThinkPad as a second computer, especially as a software developer, uh, for me is such a, a life changer, to be honest, uh, because you can go wild with it. Uh, the least of, try out new things, wipe out the OS, and experiment with different Linux partitions to see how they really perform. Sure, trying distros in a virtual machine can give you a decent idea when installing them directly on the SSD and testing how they work with your hardware is definitely a different experience. Plus, it doubles as a backup computer. If you have important files on your main computer, you can store them on your ThinkPad for extra safety. And if your main computer is a desktop, you now have something portable used to work remotely without being tied to your desk. So for example, I have a little chair back there and sometimes I like to just sit there and program there even at the table at my home that is something that it's definitely <laughs> a luxury but i mean if you are thinking of buying a completely new laptop then maybe buying one that is cheaper that has also the same quality or even better and also you want the luxury of having a second computer then it is a luxury you can have and this is why this video was made but yeah for me the thinkpad is a perfect second computer The reason for is maintainability and customization. Older ThinkPads are super well known for being really consumer friendly when it comes to hardware and upgrades. This is also one of the main reasons they last so long. You can easily upgrade or replace parts compared to other laptops that are way less user friendly like MacBooks. Don't get me wrong, MacBooks are great in many ways, but when it comes to like upgradability and maintainability, they are like hot garbage, to be honest. And I've also, I think I've seen that on the like new, new laptops, when you get the, the whole package and everything, there are also user manuals and that they also exist online on how to do things with the hardware, which is unheard of nowadays with um, a lot of companies. So yeah, it's a very good thing to note. And for this last section before the summary, I wanted to give you some quick reasons slash recommendations. The first one has to do with the debate of dual core versus quad core processors. You need to be really careful about it when buying a used ThinkPad. If you're planning to do more than just basic stuff like web browsing, watch videos or similar tasks, I highly recommend going for a ThinkPad with a quad core processor. Dual core CPUs are pretty limited for multitasking. Quad core processors handle multitasking much better and make the experience smoother overall. So before buying, please definitely research the processor in the ThinkPad you're considering. Having more cores can make a huge difference depending on what you want the laptop for. The one thing I regret about my T480 is actually the dual battery system, which a lot of people consider a benefit, and it is. I've mentioned it as a plus. Uh, my issue is that the external slash second battery on my T480 doesn't work and I really need to get the warranty applied for a battery replacement. The problem is that the internal battery, the one that is uh, working right now, is smaller because the space is reserved for basically the external battery. So when the second battery doesn't work, the laptop's runtime is like literally, I think, cut in half. So if you know how to get replacement batteries or have a warranty like I do, then the dual battery system is great, but if not, I think it would have been better off with a single battery ThinkPad like the T490. So in summary, as the main reason to consider buying a used ThinkPad instead of a brand new laptop comes down to the price, but more importantly, the value you get for that price. You're getting great build quality, 
solid specs or specifications in most cases, operability and maintainability. And this basically means you won't have to go to like Apple and get charged like a $500 fee for a repair. And there's also a lot that I didn't mention in this video to keep it from getting too long. But as I mentioned earlier, I'm not saying you shouldn't buy a brand new laptop. My goal with this video is to highlight the benefits of buying used electronics, specifically ThinkPads. It's a great way to save money and at the same time, you're helping the environment too. So that's another reason to buy a ThinkPad. So that was it for the video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you have any feedback or anything you want to criticize about some reasons or some facts that is shared, or maybe they're not facts and they need to be fact checked. Uh, please let me know. I'm not perfect, but I really wanted to make this video because I'm very happy with my ThinkPad. The only thing I said is the dual battery situation. But aside from that, it's uh, honestly perfect. And I wanted a second computer for a long time and you know computers are expensive so i really found myself very happy with the purchase of a thinkpad so yeah nothing here was said uh, with ill intent uh, but please let me know your feedback in the comments and i'll see y'all in the next one bye